Prince, this is Federica Testa and Lucas Xoli. <laughs> Lovely poise to start. First part, the synchronized twizzles. Perfect. Second, slightly out, but sharp. So difficult, that second set of twizzles, though. Wow. wow. <laughs> Drama. Familiar steps, good breakout. Lady skates up and through, change of sides. Yeah, that big breakout here. Nice and clean. Strong change of direction, moving in towards the judges and away. And a side-by-side -side step sequence, good edges. I really, really enjoyed that. I'll tell you what, Nikki, on that uh, step sequence there, they had one of the biggest patterns out of any of the teams. They yeah. covered so much ice. Absolutely fabulous use of the skates and uh, really working those edges all the way through that short dance. Federica and Lucas really enjoyed it. Well done, guys. And when you're in the judge's position and they stop halfway along and then come towards you and then away from you, you get that impression of power. Absolutely. I thought the way they presented it and the way he was standing, he could, he could even get a little more extension at times, but really getting the flavor of the Spanish dance in there. And the, the lift was sensational. Oh. You, you heard the gasps of everybody in the, the arena here. It might not be full, but people really appreciating the standard of the skating. And it was a, <gasps> wow. Yeah, I thought he that? dropped her for yes. a minute. <laughs> yeah, and to, and to actually work on that and to choreograph it to be within the six seconds, very, very clever indeed, very powerful. So for me, again, comparing it to uh, Xenia and Kirill who were before them, this is streaks ahead from the second mark in terms of a Spanish dance. And also, I loved the quality of it. Now here we look at the side-by-side -side twizzles, look at it. Perfect, arms up, make it more difficult. Look at the hand movements, her hands, the flick of the wrists, getting the feel of the castanets, moving your hands up and through, increases the level of difficulty, makes it more difficult to do. A little bit far apart. Yeah, that second twizzle there, that right forward outside one, is so difficult to do. Yes, yes. And at speed, here's that lift look. That is incredible, isn't it? 
Well, technically, they're in second place at the moment, if that score stays. We'll finish ahead of the uh, the Spanish team that are lying in second at the moment, and they're nibbling at the heels of the uh, Russians who lead. Be interesting to see what the second score is going to be. I really hope the judges go with it. Loved it. You see, on that particular bit there, you would say you could have got a little bit lower in the drag. This is just the end of the compulsory dance section, as I still continue to call it. You ha you have to do. Uh, the partial step sequence within the same rhythm as the Paso Doble. And you'll see the skaters accenting the end of that and changing the music at the end. So there, see beautiful alignment. That's what the skaters work on. And good job to Roberto and uh, Paola coaches. Wow, that is a fabulous score for these two, 62.91, and they go uh, 